Hey, what's going on, y'all? Jimmy Macrum. It's time for episode 16 of season 1 of Fringe. We got by 211. Alright, let's start with season 1 again. Let's get to it. Emergency. What's up? Nothing. I was actually calling for Rachel. Is she there? Yeah. Actually, it's kind of stupid. I can call back later if you guys are in the middle of something. No, no. Uh, she's, she's right here. Uh, Rach. It's for you. It's Peter. Oh. Hey. <laughs> you serious? <laughs> Alice, Wait, can we keep on going? No. no yeah. I don't know that one. Alright, hold on. <laughs> hold on a second. Hold on. Uh, but I don't see any monster. She has fantastic... And he kept walking. I'm jealous, because but have no right to be faced. Shut him here. We'll see what's behind this door. Why? You need to free all the animals. Even the ones locked behind armored doors. Hold on a second. Double armored doors. Absolutely. Jonathan needs to die a horrible death. Luckily, I think he will. Be arrested. Experimenting on animals. I'll kill this lady. Shut up. What? This guy dies? Well, he's evil, but these motherfuckers get to live? These dummies? We have to go back! No, 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 no. This is crazy, this is crazy. Oh, shit! Oh, I think fucking chased him? It's not an omelet. Why is there an ear in the omelet? It was an experiment. It was a protein-rich incubator. It was growing. It was growing. <laughs> That's perfect. No, it's not perfect. You just ruined it. And you could have died had you eaten it. Hello. Really? You know, hey. maybe in the future you could do me a favor and just put up a sign warning me not to confuse your toxic playthings with breakfast. Maybe you should get your own breakfast and not poach mine. That is hardly the point. You, Walter, you live in a society with other people. Hey! What? That was Olivia. OPG found the vehicle a couple of hours. Eagle. Eagle's much, much larger. Hey, we're looking for Big Bird. Don't be ridiculous. Perhaps a pterodactyl. <laughs> but you falsified your degree from MIT. Yeah, Peter, why commit to anything when you can just fake it? I spent some nights there. Maybe we should go through the student database and see if we can ID any of the victims. Are they going to dig all episodes? It's going to be awesome. So this thing had the claws of a lion and the fangs of a snake? <laughs> Reminds me of a woman I once knew in Cleveland. Well, these punctures are over four inches apart. And that would make this snake uh, eight feet long. The name was Harriet. So... How is everything? Well, apparently... So you two are friends now? Does that bother you? No. Nope. <laughs> Look at these face! Absolutely. Back teams and backup set to my location. Oh, fuck you. Creatures didn't survive. Someone else must have. Oh! Work. Who? Walter? You see that thing moving in there? Who could Quick, unzip it. Then we'll be suffocating. Oh, maggots. Oh, maggots. Love, they. Not the creature. You mean that these are baby monsters? Yes. We must split them, Peter. Peter, you did. Oh! oh. <laughs> Make it a bucket. I'm gonna be sick. <laughs> Two buckets. Walter, how is this even possible? Oh, shit. So far, there have been three reported sightings in the greater Boston area. Two in Medford and one in Arlington. Authorities advise if you see it or any other wild animal, do not hey. contact yourself. You hear this? So, ten times magnification. I don't want to see fucking maggots. Ew. Good fortune. At least the creature doesn't mate in the traditional way. Thanks for that, Walter. That's great insight, man. 
So what do we do now? I'm not fucking with this episode at all. Too. Anyway, no one's seen him. Okay, well I'll check it out. What's his last name? Uh, Swift. Jonathan Swift. Oh shit! Well, now I know what it feels like to be live bait. Hey, come on, let's get in position. Don't watch horror movies for a reason. I don't fuck with them. But it'll feel longer. <laughs> you don't think that's funny? It's not. I do. No, you don't. He does his wife does. Are you gonna be home for dinner? I don't know. Okay. All right. Well, I will see you when you get home. And I love you, babe. Even more for laughing at that joke. And I love you too. Bye-bye. Don't say that I never take you anywhere. <laughs> oh! Oh! Not your fault. You did not do this. No, but I could have. I pursued the Walter, same size. Walter, you're not prepared for this. That thing could tear you apart. Yes, you're right. I almost <laughs> forgot. I've already considered that possibility. Walter, is that the trichloramide? No, 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 no! Oh! What are you doing? That's gonna kill you! It will only be poisoning itself. Afterwards, you remove its blood and save Agent Francis. Walter, listen to me. I don't want you to do this. Walter's not gonna die, but what the fuck? Do you hear what I'm saying? The time is of the essence. Walter. Walter, stop right there. Walter, come back here! Stop right now! I love more than more for it. He steps right into the lion's cage. Selfish. Son of a bitch. If he lives through this, I want to kill him myself. <laughs> it makes an open noise. that the poison would kill me within the hour. Did either of you happen to notice the time? <laughs> Walter's the man. I love Walter. He would have got himself killed, but he didn't. He saved the day, sort of. They're dying. Now you crap them out. Ha <laughs> <laughs> I enjoyed that episode. I Really like that episode. Not too dissimilar from the last episode as far as its, as far as its one-off nature. Uh, don't want to say filler, but one-off. Um, Self-contained. Filler, really. But this was much more enjoyable to me. Made, well, not enjoyable. Better, we'll say. Because putting Frank Charlie in danger. <sighs> Walter showing bravery. Learning a lesson, seemingly. Um... Or at least coming to further understand how his mad science can 
have super consequences. I love Pete. I love his relationship with Walter. I love Liv, her general badass degree. I love Charlie. He needs to be in more of the episodes, preferably not pregnant. Because he's got the greatest voice ever. Well, second greatest voice ever, and the second greatest voice on the show, shockingly, to Broyles. Um, only thing I want is to get back to the main plot. I know it seems like a big thing, but like, yeah. If these two episodes went missing, 211 and 116, Nothing would feel different. Where was Agent Dumbass? A uh, fucking uh, internal affairs guy. You know what I mean? It's just, it's weird. Anyway, I'm not here to complain. I thoroughly enjoyed the episode. I, the effects on the monster weren't all that bad considering the time this was made. If I had to make a list, Walter still won, then Liv at two, then Pete, then Charlie and Broyles. Charlie moves ahead of Broyles. He got a little more spotlight this episode. But anyway, post your comments down below. Like, share, subscribe.